What's up guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'll be sharing my top 10 nude lipsticks that I believe are women of color friendly. I know that sometimes as chocolate girls, you can have a hard time finding like a really good nude lipstick that complements our skin tone. I know a lot of companies make their nudes too pale, too bright, too light, and they just don't work for us but I got you guys covered. So I wanna share with you guys my top 10 nude lipsticks and these nudes are a combination of higher end and drugstore lipsticks. Actually, they're mostly drugstore, honestly, which is a really good thing. And basically explain to you guys why I love them and how I wear them. So before we get started, I wanted to just address that yes, I do have on a shirt, you guys. It's a bandeau top, so it's like a little bit lower, but it's on clothes. <laughs> now and into the lipsticks. So, First and foremost, I wanna go ahead and mention the two lip liners that I always, always, always use whenever it comes to my nude lipsticks. And I'm sure you guys can guess if you guys watch my videos, it is these two here. It is Chestnut by MAC and Cork by MAC. I feel like these are the two liners that I need for everything. Like, honestly, I could probably survive with just these two lip liners because I reach for these all the time. So uh, basically, cork is closer to my skin tone. So I'll use cork if I want more of a subtle lip. And then I'll reach for chestnut if I want more of a pow lip. Like, chestnut, of course, is a lot darker than my skin tone. Um, so if I really want my lips to really be defined and like really be nice and pouty and flirty and just like, be really pow, then I'll go for chestnut. If you've never used a MAC lip liner, then you're missing out. MAC lip liners are just so easy. Alrighty, now to jump right into the lipsticks, I wanted to start off with my drugstore ones and then go into my higher end ones. So for my drugstore, first, I wanna start off with CoverGirl. So I have three here from CoverGirl that I really, really love, and they are all different shades you guys can see. They all have very, very different undertones. So the first one here is the shade Champagne Showers. And Champagne Showers is obviously a little bit more on the pink scale. Um, it has a little bit more of a rosy undertone. It's very, very nice and bright. Um, so if I wanna do like more of a springy or summery look and I wanna do a nude, then I'll definitely do something more like this because I feel like this pairs really nicely with bolder colors. So I love Champagne Showers for a lighter nude lip. I also really like the shade uh, Current Nude. So here is champagne showers over here and here's current nude so obviously current nude is more on the cooler side it has a little bit more of a gray or taupe undertone um this is really pretty with like smoky eyes like sultry looks and i love these you guys honestly overall covergirl liquid lipsticks are just amazing like you can honestly not beat them they're a great price they have great wear great payoff the last one that i really love is this one here and this is the shade cakewalk and it's actually from the covergirl queen collection major shade lipstick collection now i love this one because if you guys don't know the covergirl queen collection is actually created for a woman of color so you'll find within the overall collection you'll find foundations bronzers powders things like that, that were created for women that look like me. Um, and so this one here should tell you that it looks really good on our skin tone because it's created with us in mind, which I really, really do like. And if you kind of hold it against my skin tone, you can kind of see here how much it complements my skin tone. Whenever it comes to picking out nudes, the key is the undertone. It's the undertone. The shade, of course, is you know how light or dark it is is important, but it's also in the undertone as well. So I personally prefer nudes that have a brown undertone, you know, a rosy or a pinky undertone undertone, a peachy undertone, um, or like a terracotta kind of undertone, like a maroon, like just something that's, you know, more complimentary of my brown skin. So these three here are definitely my favorite um, CoverGirl nudes. Okay, next up I have this lipstick here. This is actually from the brand Models Own. And it's not really a drugstore because you can't find it at like Walmart or Target, but you can find it in the drugstore section at Ulta. And this is a shade Naked. So I love this one because of the undertone of it. Now, this is nothing like the first shade I showed you guys. This one actually has a little bit of a, kind of like a terracotta undertone. So it's a little bit more maroon um, and burgundy in undertone, which honestly is perfect 
with like a everyday no makeup makeup kind of look like it's really really gorgeous and perfect i love pairing it with like cork because of course cork is a little more toned down on me and this paired with cork is just perfect okay and then last but not least i have as far as drugstore goes i have the adorable milani matte liquid lipstick now adorable is one of my favorites i've had this one for like two years now and i love 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 this one this one's a little bit more in the rosy family as you can see it's a rosy nude and it's perfect i love this one with chestnut like this one and chestnut put together is just perfection again look at my skin tone and look at this one and you can see how well it complements my skin tone okay and then my next two are actually they're not drugstore because you can't find them at the drugstore but they basically have drugstore pricing and that is the carity liquid lipsticks the lip lock liquid lipsticks now i got these about a month or two ago in my PR package from Carity. And this is the shade Sugary Sweet here, and this is the shade here. Now, Sugary Sweet obviously is more in the brown family. This one here is more of like a really pretty beige shade. It is gorgeous. It looks especially pretty with like golden or bronzy looks. This one is everything. And you guys, these are $6. And the quality of these are amazing. So like Carity is doing it with the lipsticks. I love them. This one's gorgeous. And then also Kier is really pretty as well. As you can see, Kier is more in the pink family, just like, you know, uh, Cakewalk and some of the other ones. Like this one here is definitely more in the pink family, but still a woman of color friendly. Nonetheless, it is perfect. So I love this one as well. Whenever I do more, you know, brighter, lighter looks, I'll reach for this one here. Okay, so my last three are going to be from Dose of Colors. Um, which honestly they're not actually that expensive which is a good thing like if you guys you know are looking for some good quality higher end ones I look into those of colors so first and foremost I'm going to show you guys the two liquid lipsticks from them and obviously you guys I have a theme of liquid lipsticks I love liquid lipsticks I just think that they are the best long-lasting lipsticks that you can buy especially if you're someone like me who wants to do your makeup one time and be good all day. From those two colors, I had the shade Cork and the shade Knock on Wood. Now, Cork is actually, honestly, I, I laugh because it's actually very similar to me in shade as like my Cork lip liner. Um, it is a true brown lipstick, like it's just brown. Um, not too deep, not too dark, but it is a really, really pretty brown nude lipstick. So if you are on the deeper um, complexion scale, then you'll definitely love Cork as a really pretty nude on your complexion. I also really like this shade Knock on Wood. Knock on Wood has been one of my go-tos recently because of the shade. Um, it's actually like a really true um, beige almost. Like it's not too light, but it actually has a bit of like a brown undertone. And it's just really, really, really pretty on me and also my clients. I've used this shade, you guys, on multiple clients of various skin tones and it looks good on everyone. Just pick the right lip liner. I have been loving, loving, loving these two right here. And then last but not least, it's probably my number one top nude that I have been loving, guys, for the past, I don't know how long. It's just, I love this one so much. And that is the Dose of Colors More Creamer Please. This lipstick is so, I don't know, like it's just something about it that's so unique to me because the undertone of it is a little bit different. I don't like it has a little bit of an orangey, peachy undertone. So it's very unlike my brown nudes and my rosy nudes and my, you know, terracotta nudes. Like this one here is very, very unique in shade. Like I don't have anything like it. And that's why I love it so much. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I could wear it every day nonstop and never get tired of it. So this one I stayed for last because it is my absolute favorite. Okay, so that is it for my top 10 nude lipsticks for women of color. I do wanna go ahead and mention notably my top three lip glosses because every now and then I do want a nice glossy lip. First one has been my recent go-to and that is the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Midnight Cowgirl. This one here is probably my absolute favorite whenever it comes to layering on top of lipsticks because of the shade. It is a really, really pretty nude lip gloss. It's very, very complimentary of my skin tone. Um, so very, very pretty, but this one also has like just gorgeous gold specks in it. 
So it not only creates just the most gorgeous gloss on top of your lips, but it also kind of has a bit of shimmer to it that is just magical, you guys. I wear it on top of a lipstick, but it's all personal preference. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and the next up is the Holy Grail, you guys. This is the Fenty Gloss Balm. I keep this in my purse at all times. So when I'm out and I need to like touch up my lips real quick, I just pull this bad boy out and we are good to go. Um, I love this one just because of not only how glossy it is and how long it lasts. It's very hard to find glosses that actually last for the duration of the day. And this one does a good job of it. But also just the, again, it has shimmer in it. It just has a really nice pop of shimmer in it. And it's just so pretty. This is one that I do wear typically on its own. I just wear this one on its own with a little bit of cork lip liner and this gloss and I am good to go with just this by itself. Okay, and last but not least is going to be one of my oldies but goodies and that is the MAC Lip Gloss in the shade See Through. Now, don't be thrown off by the shade of the lip gloss in the container. It does look a little bit light, but in my opinion, guys, this is probably one of the most universal lip glosses to be paired with any shade of lipstick, whether it's red, purple, orange, blue, green, nude. This one works on almost anything. You guys know MAC Lip Blast lip glosses are super pigmented and super glossy, but it really, to me, intensifies the color and this gives the most gorgeous finish, in my opinion. So that is it, you guys, for my top 10 nude lipsticks for women of color and also my top three lip glosses that I showed you guys, paired, of course, with my top two lip liners. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo, kind of taking a peek into my nude lipstick collection. Um, we'll see like what I reach for on a daily. If you guys have tried any, let me know down below what you guys think. Um, which one is your favorite? What's your favorite nude? I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. And if you guys have anything that I haven't tried before, I would love to try that out as well. So let us just know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And last but not least, if you guys have been enjoying my videos, don't forget to click the notification icon down below. It'll let you know that I uploaded a video. You guys be the first to know when I drop a vid here on my channel. So go ahead and click that and join the Kyrinox family. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.